Okay, so apparently making tips videos is really freaking hard. <laughs> okay, so let's go. I'm gonna do it real, real fast, okay? So, five levels of control, okay? First one, car on the ground without the ball. Ball control. Just flipping around, getting to know your car, how your car works, you know everything from recoveries, wave dashes, stuff like that. Just work on it all day, every day. These are in chronological order, by the way. So this is how I think you should uh, attack the mechanics and the games and get to know the five levels of control. So number two is car on the ground with the ball. This you can call for like uh, ground dribbling, like shots in general, getting to know how the uh, your car affects the ball. You know, just taking shots, not whiff like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's the second level of control. Just Hit the ball hard, get to know how it works, get comfortable with it. Okay, so third level of <laughs> third level of control. God damn, <laughs> it's ball physics and bounces. Learn how the ball physics work, how it bounces off the wall, how it reads, how it plays, like how fast it drops down. Just get comfortable with the ball, you know. It's underrated. You need to you need to work on this also. Okay, so next one we have car in the air without ball. Basically, just getting to get comfortable in the air. Just you could fly around the ball like this, you know, twist a little bit, get to know how to fly upside down. Remember, you can make this as advanced or as simple as you like. And uh, keep keep making it hard for yourself. It's not supposed to be comfortable unless you mastered it already. Okay. So if you're on PC, you can use workshop maps for this. Uh, I do that a lot, or used to do at least. Okay. So that's it for number four. Let's go on to number five. Car in the air with the ball, aka air dribbling. Okay. So this is the glory glory of mechanics, right? People. People want to get to this point where they can do fancy schmancy squishy stuff, right? Like flip reset, like that. That's what they want. How to get it? It's just practice, practice, practice. Dry off the wall. Just practice, you know, hitting it soft the first touch and then trying to give it as much lift as you can. Carry it where you want it. That's the fifth level of control, which you need to master. And when you master all of these five levels of control, you're gonna be pro. <laughs> yeah, but like really, uh, I haven't mastered them yet, of course. I would have been the best player in the world if I had mastered these completely. But the thing is, work on these every day. And I think you should work on them in that order. So first get comfortable with level one, level two, level three, level four, and then attack level five. I see so many people like silvers going for flip resets, you know, triple flip reset. Uh, ground to air dribble all that juicy stuff, you know, but it's not necessary In my opinion what you should do is focus on the core mechanics uh, Like on the ground and stuff first and then move into the more difficult stuff And I think and I strongly believe that if you do it this way in the order that I set up that you're gonna progress a lot faster Because it's gonna be more comfortable progression So yeah Try it out, and if you strongly disagree, then let me know in the comments, okay? So that was the that was the five levels of control, real quick, even though it wasn't that quick. Okay guys, so tips and tricks. First one, keep possession for the most part. You know, you want to be applying pressure, keeping possession. Don't just boom the ball away all the time, like, you want to have the ball in the possession of your team, as often as you can. Uh, like right here, it's a clear for example, and I'm moving up, I try to 50 this, I miss. But we're still keeping the pressure like. And there we lost it. But you know, as I was saying, keep possession. And all free and uncontested hits that you have, that means when no one is trying to get the ball from you, like let's say I'm free here, should be a pass to a teammate or a shot at net, right? What you want to be doing? That's a really questionable back pass, but it worked. <laughs> okay, so, and do not waste a good touch for boost, or waste possession for that matter. 
Like, I see so many people just not focusing on the ball. They'll take an extra turn or whatever to get the boost, and then they end up getting a shitty ass touch on the ball. You don't want that. You want that sweet touch, that good connection. You know? Very important. Don't underestimate it. Don't position yourself all the way back if your team is in possession. You want to be applying that pressure, like I was saying. You know? You want to be scoring them goals, obviously. Because that's how you win games, right? And you don't need those 100 boost pads all the time, okay? You don't need them. They're overrated. What you need is a little bit of boost in your tank and good positioning, right? Okay, so next thing, kind of keep your momentum, okay? I see so many people power sliding all the time when they have momentum. Uh, and basically just waste it, and then they have to use 20, 30, 40 boosts to get back up to speed. Just try, try to keep that speed. That should have been a goal. I suck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so don't power slide all the time, and just try to keep that momentum, okay? Next one. You don't need to boost if you're already supersonic. I know it makes you 4.8% faster, but... I feel like this has to do with keeping momentum and, you know, just, just trying to save that boost for when you actually need it, right? Next tip real quick. Uh, there is no such thing as rotation. Or there are, but not a set rotation, right? I see so many people focusing on, oh, your first, second or third man or whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? What matters is being at the field and covering a position your teammates are not, so... You want to be filling as much of the pitch as possible with your team. So if you don't have anyone able to go back if they get a clear, someone should position so they could do that if that does happen, right? That's all about reading the game. That was a disgusting thing. Very nice. <laughs> Pat in the back. Okay, okay. But yeah, um, don't focus so much on the first, second, and third man. That shit was only invented, so uh, new players don't have to double commit all the time, okay? Only reason I wasted possession there is because I knew I could hit it over him and then try to get a pass. See? We almost scored. I didn't waste possession because I got it, so... This comes with time. Okay, so... Taking slash stealing your teammates boost... Is not a problem. Not a problem stealing team is boost. No, it's not a problem, okay? As long as you get the ball as well. Unless you guys are in comps and you plan something else, then if you snag the corner boost right in front of your teammate because you feel like, oh yeah, I have momentum. Nice own goal, Lido. <laughs> I have momentum and I'm able to make a better player or faster play, then go for it, right? Your teammates are going to adapt to whatever you do. So if I take the boost and make the play, my teammates should be moving into... The next hit like getting ready for the next play right important so as long as you take the boost yeah just get the ball make the clear so everyone else has time to get boost and position easy as that don't be mad rotation on far post is overrated in my opinion this goes back to this goes back to just position where your teammates are not and you're gonna win them games okay if you do it correctly trying to cover a part of the field where your teammates are not Right now, yeah, to me, yeah, see, I might pass him back, see what, ah, insane, All right, we had so much space to work with, we used it, right, there, good example, we didn't score though, which is unfortunate, uh, yeah, keep pressure again, I can't emphasize enough on this, so just keep that pressure, okay, it wins your games, I promise, I promise, so basically, he just wasted possession there, which is unfortunate, not what you want to be doing, yeah, I, ooh, oh, I th okay, and then the next one. This one is huge, guys or girls, you know? Oh, I can't emphasize enough. Keep ball cam on for most of the time, okay? You need that ball cam. Why? Because you lose so much awareness when you don't have that ball cam on, okay? When you go for boost... And you're blind, you're like, the play is going on behind you somewhere around here, and you're like, boost. Boost, right? 
it's fine. Go for that boost. Whatever. Don't go for corner boost if you're <laughs> if your team is on attack, right? But at least your fuck. Not your own corner boost. Go for their corner boost or mid boost or boost lane, right? But keep that ball cam on, okay? If there's a huge clear and you have ball cam on, you're gonna see what's going on behind you. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, I see the ball coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can catch it, whatever. I can make a play. But if you don't, and like, boost, okay? <laughs> boost. <laughs> I don't care about what's going on behind me. Boost. <laughs> then you're gonna end up panicking and you're probably gonna get scored on because there's a boomer clear and you're like, oh yeah, I'm unaware. And then, fuck, boomer clear right over my head, right? You don't want that. Keep that ball cam on for the most part. Practicing, going for boost with ball cam, okay? Please. <laughs> I see so many people just boost. <laughs> and hopefully these tips are gonna help you improve. And I feel like if you implement this, you're gonna rank up. Like, and keep challenging yourself because that's how you get better, okay? This is like going to the gym. Add more weights if it's easy, you know? Just challenge yourself. Make it make yourself awkward. You're gonna learn from it. You know? Get yourself into awkward positions. Not positions, but situations rather in game. And practice them over and over and over. And you will succeed. You will become as good as you want. If you want to be squishy good, you can be squishy good. But the thing is you gotta put in the work. I made this video because I didn't feel like there was a tips video that if my points of view so here's an entire video just for you from my point of view that's a sexy ass ride and on that note we're gonna end this video okay <laughs> peace out boys and girls